you guys. I thought I would give you a little personal update on how it's going over at Heart of Gold Sanctuary and on my personal dancing sites. Well, first of all, very good news. We have found new homes for three horses so far this month. Um, Jasper just went to his new home where he is now best friends with a horse who looks just like him that recently lost its best friend to pigeon fever, which has been going on crazy in Sonoma County. And so um, this man contacted me and said, look, I just had a horse pass away that happened to look a lot like Jasper. And my other horse is so, so sad and alone. So I was thinking it would be a perfect fit. So he came over, he brought his trailer, gave Jasper a little ride around, and they fell in love and took him home. And now Jasper has his happily ever after. Um, and then other than that, both Gary, our little golden boy, who I love with all my heart, my boyfriend and I raised Targaryen. We call him Gary for short. Um, he and Cooper have also found loving forever homes. They're still with us at this moment and we are planning their delivery date. So we are saying goodbye to so many little babies and my beloved legend is all grown up and we're riding him around on the trails and now he is also available. So it's been like a, a crazy, crazy time for the sanctuary, horses coming in and out. Um, but of course, I love it every single day. Couldn't be happier. My birthday was November 13th, and um, we took the horses out to the beach. We loaded up several horses on a trailer and brought my friends and uh, had a great time out there. I got to canter through the dunes on Trio, the Wonder Horse. Such a beautiful baby. He's a Palomino paint. So gorgeous. And let's see what else is going on at the sanctuary. Um, I mean, we have been doing crazy photo shoots like every weekend. And in fact, there is another one this weekend, sometimes twice a week. So that's been really fun. Uh, I basically have invited a ton of famous OnlyFans and Instagram girls over, and then we all shoot nude content together on the horses. And we put that stuff up on our sites, and that money helps pay for the sanctuary, which costs me $30,000 a month to run. In case anybody wants to make any donations, you can do so at www.heartofgoldsanctuary.org. It is a nonprofit 501c3 here in California, so your donation is tax deductible and dearly appreciated by me because goodness gracious, I have been dancing my little butt off. If you haven't noticed, I have been posting on my dancing sites more than ever in my whole entire career which has been crazy and fun. Um, I have worn every single lingerie set that I own at least twice uh, throughout the last month, which has been crazy and fun. Uh, I think I've put up 60 videos so far for November on www.daintyrascaldancing.com, which is the most ever in one month. And yeah, things have been getting a little more exotic, erotic, all the fun stuff that you keep begging me for, I'm finally doing it. Whatever it takes for my horses, honestly, I would do anything for them, and I do do everything for them, and you know that if you have signed up for DaintyRascalDancing.com or my OnlyFans page, and now I have a free OnlyFans page. So, unfortunately, they don't let you post nudity on the free page, but I can send it over in the DM, so check your inbox when you sign up. And um, other news in the personal dancing websites, a lot of you were signed up when I had Patreon. <gasps> Patreon has pissed me off for the very last time. Every time I post something that I don't even think is that erotic and like crazy to me at least, like I think it's pretty tame, everything that um, I've been posting on there, but they are like, this is straight up pornography and not allowed on our little prude website, Patreon. Really pisses me off. Um, they flagged me, so they have someone check every month all of my posts. And every single month they contact me and are like, we've suspended your page and you're not getting paid. Um, and 
if you don't take down all of these posts and their guidelines are like so annoying they're like if you're naked in more than two-thirds of the frame it's pornography if you touch your genitals or your breasts it's pornography i'm like whatever so i'm done with them i'm just oh i hate guidelines i hate rules i just can't deal with them it's not in my personality um like i'm an anarchist in every way <laughs> it pisses a lot of people off but it's just i just can't i'm a wild horse at heart and in my soul and i let my horses be pretty wild like they all get to say where they want to go who they want to be with in the pasture they have a super fun life here um, I'm really big into letting the horses express themselves, who they are in their little souls, actually big souls. Their electromagnetic field is like three to four times larger than ours, so they have a big presence. And anyways, done with Patreon. If you're still subscribed to Patreon, please head over to DaintyRascalDancing.com. That's the website that I personally built myself, so there are no rules at all. Even OnlyFans has deleted some of my videos because they said that I was putting things inside myself that are, like, not supposed to be put inside myself. I don't remember what it was. Maybe I do. I thought it was a funny magic trick. Anyways, <laughs> if you want to see all of the videos that I've ever made, which is now 900 on my website, DaintyRascalDancing.com, that is my preferred place for you to go because uh, I get to keep 100% of the profit and it goes directly to my Heart of Gold Sanctuary 501c3 nonprofit bank account. Um, so it is tax deductible and... That is the best way to help me out because holy moly, you have no idea how expensive a horse is until you have 33 horses. Whoo! It's been really, really nuts. And man, the end of every month has just been like, I have this moment where I kind of collapse and I'm like, I don't think I'm going to make it. I don't think I can do this. And then those last 10 days, I just hustle, hustle, hustle. That's what I've been doing. That's why I'm posting so much. And I'm, I'm begging you, please. I promise I put on a really good show. Um, if you want to come over and subscribe to OnlyFans or DaintyRascalDancing.com, I'm going to leave all the links below. It's a link tree link so that, um, you know, the overlords here don't get upset. And they're like, you can't link to a site with nudity because nudity is disgusting whatever. I do my best to comply and I think this is my 17th channel. So you know how that's going for me. But I'm being a really, really good girl this time. I am on the nice list. Anyways, if you'd like to help me out, gosh, I'd really appreciate it. It has been pretty difficult financially, but I will just do whatever it takes every single month. And I have big dreams, big plans. So I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. I'm not a quitter and I don't get tired of the things that I love. And one of the things that I love to do is please you. So come on, check it out. Come on over, help some horses and uh, we'll have a lot of fun together. So I hope that I will see you there. And yes, I just did a really fun dance in this outfit. It's just a bunch of uh, tulle that I was gonna make into this gorgeous gown. And then I was like, when in the hell am I ever going to have time to sew again? I used to sew three dresses a day. When I started my business, I was on Etsy as a fashion designer. And I created something many, many years ago. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I think it was like 12 years ago. <gasps> oh, when I was 20, 20. No, I was 19. 12 years ago, when I was 19 years old, I started an Etsy and um, I made something called the Naked Dress. And I just started making all these sheer dresses and people were going crazy for them. They loved the sheer stuff. And I would wear it all around town, dresses as sheer as this, except for I wouldn't wear any lingerie underneath, nothing. I was completely nude under these totally sheer dresses and I'd go grocery shopping and go draw more dress designs at the coffee shop and nobody ever said 
anything. I never got kicked out of anywhere until I went to Las Vegas and they were like, you can't be here, lifetime ban, no, no, no. The Cosmopolitan was like lifetime ban. There were a few clubs that were like, you can never come here again. They took pictures of my ID and they threatened to call the police on me just for wearing sheer stuff and maybe being a little bit naked on a balcony at one point. But anyways, <laughs> I'm just really glad that there are some places online where I can fully express myself. No rules, no guidelines, no pause on me. It's just myself doing whatever the heck I feel like and occasionally taking suggestions for whatever the heck you feel like. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to have a lot of fun together. I'll see you over there. Ha, 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 ha.